Hey guys, it's Al from Fashion Studio 7 Magazine. Today, at Charlie's Gallery with six fantastic women. This issue right here, issue number 16, we had six good looking gentlemen talking about some of the woes dealing with what? The alpha female. Now women were in the panel and the audience and they were checking it out, asking questions to these good looking males and saying, hey, we have something to say too. We're gonna to find out, do they really have something to say or are they just show pieces eye candy for us males to look pretty on their arms? We're gonna find out. And, the, and I get the look already. At the far end, we have Elaine over here, creator, fashion designer, LA Marks. Hey, say hi, that's fantastic. Hi. Next door we have Tony. Now Tony is an amazing student. She works for Fashion Studio 7. She's a writer, she's an interview host person. She's an amazing person. Right here we have uh, Sonam. Sonam is a makeup artist. She's a real estate mogul type of thing. Dealing with you property in the United States is the person you want to speak to. Sylvie, over here. Hey, hey. I, I wanted to wait meet Sylvie. She's a comedian, <laughs> she's a host. She's a lingerie football player, wide receiver. Go deep, Sylvie, okay? Next door we have Tasha. Now Tasha is an amazing individual. She's in the banking, uh, profession. She's a model, freelance model, and she's an all-around amazing person. Next to her friend, her friend is Robin. Robin. I was like, ah, Robin's, a, no, Robin's just a synod because one of the girls was a, unable to make it, so she's filling in right now. Now Robin's a little shy, but we don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> at the end we have Robin over here, single guy, so uh, is she looking? We'll find out if she's looking. Girls, we want to find out today about life, about guys. And I talked to you guys individually, okay, a little bit beforehand, talking about some of you guys are attached, some aren't. Some of you guys are married, maybe were, were married, but we're not gonna say who, okay? That's confidential stuff, okay? Uh, but all of you guys are attractive, intelligent, bright individuals, okay? Do I agree with that? 100%. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, all right, good stuff. So we wanna talk about today's male. Today's male, metro male, hardcore male, whatever you wanna call it. So the first question I wanna ask you guys is, how's the dating life out there? How would you describe it, Tony? Well, here in Toronto, yeah. dating life is pretty okay. I'm not complaining. Although uh, I got a big, like, pretty big mix of uh, douchebag, loser. <laughs> <laughs> One minute she's not complaining, the next one she's calling douche douchebags. Okay. <clears throat> Sona, I know you're attached right now. Yes. Okay. And I've been for a while. For a while now. Okay. Back to your pre. Okay, we'll, we'll pick on boyfriend a little bit too. Sure, As sure. You it, okay? uh, that's what he's here for. He good knows. Stuff. And he he's going to give you a lift home still, even yes. though it's okay. Good. He so will. It's your car. <laughs> Yes, that's okay, good. Car. So you guys are okay. Okay, that's good. So tell us about your friend's singlehood before you started dating Raj. How was it? Um, to be honest, I don't even really remember much of it because I, I was in school all throughout, you know, coming from an East Indian background, you're just always focused. So none of the boy drama was ever really allowed. Um, but I somehow just got out of school and said, okay, now I'm kind of ready to just meet people and I just started partying and I just started enjoying my life and the first big <coughs> rave I ever attended is where I met him. So that was the story of that. So so why do I have in Japan? Do you have some good stuff saying negative things about guys? I have a lot of negative Perfect. things about Call guys. Hold those up and oh, keep them going. Okay. okay. <laughs> Elaine <coughs> Single. A lot of good things too, though. Right? Single, attractive, happily, happily single. Happily okay. Single. And what does that mean by happily? I'm happy to not have anyone in my life. I have to pay attention to. All right. So these things like males are kind of complicated. Uh, no. I just, I'm ha I just love the single aspect where you don't have to return phone calls and turn messages and don't be stalked. You don't have to be. You're not accountable. Okay, now she's single, not lonely. <laughs> <laughs> now, now Sylvie on this hand over here is uh, is attractive looking girl, single. Or, uh, no, I'm in a relationship. How you guys are almost in relationships here, or want to be in a relationship? Okay, talk uh, about single life. It's single life is fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, I I had a lot of fun before I got into this okay. relationship all right, all right. for sure. Okay, so, is it easier to be single? Um. It's easier to be single if you're in the relation in a relationship with the wrong guy. Okay. If you're in a relationship with the wrong guy, being in a relationship is the worst thing in the okay. world. <coughs> okay, right here. Tasha, how do you know if it's the right guy or not? How do you know if it's the right guy? I think it's just the feeling that you get inside. You just know. <laughs> and sometimes you don't know. Like, I mean, I've been in a relationship ever since I can remember. It's been a really long time since I've been single, so I have no idea what the dating life is like being single. Um, but yeah, you just, you have a feeling. Um, it's chemistry. There's certain things that you want to feel. I mean, if you're dating somebody and it's like, Okay, you're not feeling it, he doesn't make you laugh. All the things that are important to you, you just know right away. Like I can go on a date with somebody and know 
Well, maybe the second date. You start to get to know whether it could be somebody that you could see yourself with or not. Like, first of all, there has to be some kind of physical attraction to the person, number okay. one. We'll come back to the physical attraction. Rock, okay. is, that, is it that easy? Just to feel, and you first date, second date, to feel that it's going to go somewhere? Yeah. You yeah, got that right sense? away. Yeah. How many times have you guys been wrong? That's kind of you know what they're like, <coughs> <coughs> never. I think I've been wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're totally, okay, I've been wrong all the time. Every time you've, you've dealt, you've, you've seen somebody and it's gone to a, more than a few dates, it's always been a right feeling? Yeah. Well, I know within like 30 seconds if I want to be with that guy like intimately and like oh shoot intimately <laughs> what are you talking about okay no but you can tell right away like within the first what does he have big feet or what <laughs> what is it what is it that causes that you know that you know that you that want helps, to be intimate for sure okay, right. uh, but no big you just feet? you get that vibe you just you're feeling it or you're not right away and there's I don't first know impression. okay yeah. chemistry fades chemistry totally fades so it's great to have that chemistry it's a wonderful feeling but I'm all about having a best friend as a relation in a relationship because once that chemistry fades, you need to look at that person and say, "Can we live our lives together?" Now, let me let me ask a question about best friends. Okay, best friends are someone that we can go to and talk and share intimate things. Can we share our intimate, really deepest feelings with our significant others? If you're mature and you know who you are, yeah. and that takes time. But what if that that emotional feeling is one that I'm not digging you so much now, and I'm starting to look at the the, the cab driver who just took me home? Are you home. married or are you in just a relationship? You just in a relationship, mm -hmm. or both? You bounce. Both. Yeah. That's what depends you what you have. It depends. What you, some people just throw everything together, and they got mortgages together, got kids together, and they're not even married. So it's like, well, you've got to take what you've got. You you can't just bounce. You've got responsibilities, even though you didn't put it on paper. You still build something. But if you don't have any ties or connections, and you're both at the same place, and you don't want to grow it, what would be the point?